I'm back. I play Gary's Mod every day. I play Gary's Mod. When I wake up, I play Gary's Mod. Okay, enough of that silliness. Let us show you how to make props so that they are physics props in Gary's Mod. So what you're going to have to do is all these fun things like learn a little bit of crowbar, some hammer, and a lot of patience. So first thing, you can do this with just crowbar to at least make one of the SFM props a physics prop. So you gotta get crowbar and you gotta set it up and I've already done that and it's been so long since I did it that I can't remember how I did it. Um, but here, oops, yeah, right. So I down, downloaded a new version of crowbar and then it asked me to set up the game info. So once you do all that, I'm not gonna go over how to do that. You start your crowbar and face cam's gonna go boy boy boop crowbar we go up here to decompile you got to search for your mdl file now this, you might as well do it in the gary's mod directory that you created and when you browse through and you find the mdl file that you are looking for so let's start with i was going to do the lighthouse thing at the beginning i'm not sure what it's called um I'll probably look at the bed lamp. It's one of the lamps, I think. But anyway, um, let's just do the TV. So you double click on the MDL, comes up here. You change to full path and pick a directory that you want to put that in. And when you hit decompile, it's going to do it pretty quick, actually. Now you need to find that directory that you decompiled into. And you're looking for your QC file. So we should have a TV QC file here. And use your favorite editor to bring it up. Um, I like Notepad++ for this stuff. And of course, I'm lazy and don't ever get the newest versions of anything because usually it breaks something. No, I'm just kidding. I should do that. But here you will see a basic QC file. And if you want to do Gary's Mod Mods or any source mods you are going to have to get familiar with the QC file. Some basic things are the model name, where it's going. Um, you're going to have different body groups and textures and stuff like that, but this is a very basic QC file. One thing that you're going to probably find yourself changing a lot of times is the materials location. Um, but if you're just decompiling and recompiling with physics, no big deal. Don't mess with your idle animation. And what you're going to want to do is put in the very basic thing without even using Blender, and this is very hacky, is just to add your physics collision model in here. Um, what you want to do is maybe decompile one that has it so you can look at it. But the basics are a collision model, and I will just copy this one for now. And what are the important things to have in here? You have mass. You don't want to mess with concave, convex. That's just weird stuff. Um, you don't really need the root bone. So you need mass, inertia, damping. You can play with these things. But the important part is the name of the SMD file. And what you can do is you can literally just copy this one from the body group. And this, like I say, is a hacky way of doing it. And just putting it right in there and recompiling this, this will give you a physics model. Now, it's not going to be an optimized physics model, but it will do OK just for testing. And I'll show you how to use Blender to actually make a more proper physics model, or you can play with physics models. So save that, go back into Hammer, and switch from decompile to compile. Now you're going to want to look for that QC file you just edited, and that'll be your QC file. And then your path where you want to put this thing is going to be the path that you decompiled it from. So in my case, it was the JD map models, minifig Joseph and better by backpack. I probably buy all the way in here. Um, if you want to be on the safe side and you don't want to overwrite it, you could play with renaming it um, in the QC file. But I'm going to trust that I can do it. So then we hit compile, and if everything goes well, which it looks like it did, there were no errors, and you just got a model in there that is a physics prop. Now you could go into HLMV and test 
to see what the physics looks like, but HLMV to me sometimes crashes a lot. But if you load the model, and you gotta go look for it again, you're gonna get really used to finding things in far off directories. But if you bring up that model into here, no, oh, it actually, because I had the texture, it does remember the texture. So, move around with your mouse buttons and stuff, and there's the TV. And if you look under physics, you can change. Now, this is really important when you're doing uh, ragdolls because you're going to want to actually make some uh, constraints. But we're not dealing with constraints with this. This is a one bone thing. So in here, you can render the physics model, and there you go. Now, that little red box, that'll show you what the physics model it came up with for this TV was. And it's pretty, pretty good. So with that done, we can go back into Gary's Mod and load up the map. Now... I'm warning you, we haven't done anything with Hammer, so the model still will not be physics object, but we will be able to place a physics object of a TV into the map if we wanted to. Um, next step would be Hammer, and that you have to have your V... Blah, blah, blah. Let's go into Hammer, just to show you guys what you're going to have to learn. Um, you bring in the VMF that you got out of your BSP using BSP Info or VMAX or whatever. And I'll probably have to do a little bit more explaining of that because it seems like it's uh, where some people have had problems. And with that loaded in, it defaults to where you're... Now this hammer you have to really learn. Go into camera and WASD, move around stuff. So as we can see, the TV is now an error. And that is because I messed with it while hammer was open. So if I come back in here, I can change this from, now well, I have to get back into this, double clicking it, and then I could actually change it from a prop dynamic to a prop physics, and that will make it after I recompile the map, and I'll show you all that later. But let's just, let's just make sure that you guys are up to actually making it into a physics prop before we deal with having to change the map and hammer. So we will go into Gary's Mod now and see if my TV is movable. Now having just done that, no map edits, what you will notice is that now you can pick up the TV. If you let it go, it doesn't fall because it's not a physics prop, it's just a prop dynamic. But that was what was in the map as default. So you can move it and you can bump into it now. So you can't get around it. So it is got a physics collision model, but it's not a physics prop yet. But if you were to spawn one from, now you have to look for it, it's going to be under games all, you have to drill down to find the actual model you just made. So games all, there's a lot of games on here, and it takes forever. You got to wait for the plus sign to get all the way down to Minifig Joe down here which is way down here. And it's going to take a while because it's loading and loading and loading and loading. There we go. So now you can get all the way down to Chapter 5 Map Pack, Joey's Apartment, and when you look for his TV in here, there it is. And if you spawn a TV, it will be a physics prop. Then if you drop it, it reacts to physics. Now, the chair obviously is not a physics prop, so it goes through it. But... As you can see, I got TVs colliding into TVs, and this TV is a physics prop. Yay! Success! Now, the hard part, changing the map so that the props are actually that. Or you could load the map that has no props, and then just position all your props individually where you want them. And that would save you from actually having to modify a map in Hammer. Or you could position your physics prop on top of the uh, non-physics prop and use remover remover why am I looking at it not seeing it remover and Whee! there you go there's your TV and too bad it doesn't break like glass but that'd be kind of fun 
and I hope you guys this oh these tutorials are going to be um, mainly for people who really want to try this so I apologize if they're not entertaining for those who don't care to do Gary's mod uh, mods but that's what they're going to be for and hope that some of you will actually attempt to do this and let me know how much success you've had in the comments. And that's all for today.